I'd like to say thank you. Thank you for not only accepting me as your patron, but thank you also for inviting me here today. You have all made me feel so welcome, and I feel hugely honoured to be here to see this wonderful centre. I'm only sorry that William can't be here today. <laughs> he would love it here. A view of Breaking news. Catherine Middleton and Charlotte, Princess of Wales, believe they have noticed a quiet altercation taking place between mother and daughter over recent events. Turn on notifications so you don't miss the next update. Subscribe and like my videos. Welcome viewers to our channel. The royal family has to follow many rules, from the type of clothes they have to wear, to the way they speak and behave, to the way they travel. In addition, it has already been reported that the Prince and Princess of Wales maintain a pretty strict regime in the household. And giving birth to three children will have to adhere to their own strict rules. The famous duo Catherine and Charlotte have noticed a quiet altercation taking place between mother and daughter over the little girl's hairstyle. The footage was filmed at the Trooping the Color Parade last month. During this, a video was taken that showed the mother of three repeatedly pulling her daughter's long hair up and over her shoulders while Charlotte tries to tie her hair up in front. An edit of the scene was then shown in which the mother tweaks the little girl's curls back over her shoulders. A touching scene between mother and daughter and her daughter also delighted fans, with some commenting that they would do the same, while others said that it's just what a mother should do. Royal or not, they like it, they like it a certain way, they'll push it on you, although they do have the help of nannies. The royal couple are still said to be very active with their children, enjoying participating in activities such as cycling and baking. But for George, Charlotte, and Louis, it's not all fun and games. At their home in Adelaide Cottage in Windsor, they have laid down some household rules including one that both parents must follow at all times, and sources say they follow them. Strict there is no yelling in the house, but if they misbehave they are sent to their bedroom or sent to the penalty box the royal couple has another technique chatting on the couch every year. They will spend the rest of the summer together, away from royal duties and engagements, and there is a possibility they could all get together again this summer. The family travels to Balmoral in Scotland. Charlotte will join her parents at Balmoral, and will also be joined by her brothers George and Louis. And former royal chef Darren McGrady, who worked in the royal kitchens for the late Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II. He was also the personal chef to Princess Diana, Prince Harry and Prince William for over a decade, and has shared the delicious sweet treats he often makes for his family during the summer at Balmoral in the Scottish Highlands. The gardens of Balmoral Castle are rich in raspberries, strawberries, black currants, red currants, gooseberries and other soft berries. This is not a recipe for baked cheesecake, he said. The royals would have eaten these berries almost every night, just to take them to picnics or go to the mountains for barbecues. Scotland has the perfect climate for growing these berries. At the same time, they also came up with new ideas and new recipes. Meanwhile, it is not uncommon for the royals to take part in hunting on this trip, and in typical royal fashion. There is a long-standing tradition that first-time hunters are given the blood of the first animal they kill. They must wear a face mask. Royal commentator Duncan Laram suggests that this could be the first year Prince George will take part in this tradition. It is reported that he will accompany his father on a deer shoot during his visit to Balmoral. Earlier this month, each mansion had a tradition of smearing the blood of a hunter's first catch on their face a ritual that dates back centuries, and it's said the Duchess of Cambridge took part in the tradition, though he added that there had been no announcement from the palace as to whether this would take place. 